Hi, and welcome to Rappers Unwrapping, a brand new series by Young TV. And today we have Krishan Mahesan here with us. He is the founder of Tamil Rap in Sri Lanka from the very old school rap crew Urban Sound from way back in the late 90s. He's still rapping to this day and he's here to have a little chat with us. It's a pleasure to be on uh, the show and start off uh, Rappers Unwrap. It was actually surprise when these guys called me up and, and put me on the spot in front of the camera yeah but still it was a nice experience and I'm here to chat a lot about um, Tamil rap music really mod eat a lot of fruit have a good time have myself a piece of fruit yeah imagine I got this uh, Imad I, I, I would have struggled <laughs> what times it go about it flows like a lava Saturday night, we're about to head towards karma. <laughs> Before that, I'm going to get fresh fish and chips at Rama's. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? Freestyling, even though it's so essential to rap music, in Sri Lanka and even in Colombo, we don't see or hear of a lot of freestyle rappers. Why do you think that That's is? That's because of rap still is considered like the wannabe thing now it's like, it's like we're trying to make something that's not ours but actually uh, freestyling and all that starts when, when guys meet up they do ciphers, they practice through ciphers, they, they start spilling uh, their ri real rhyming capabilities, their lyrical capabilities uh, so the more you write uh, rhymes you are able to freestyle but you know, to be honest I'm no freestyle rapper I'm a studio rapper. I, I write my rhymes. I prepare my rhymes. I read a lot of stuff before I write rhymes. So, so my in my scenario, it's it's different. But you put me on the spot today. <laughs> so, I guess I got away to doing some very mediocre stuff. <laughs> no, I think it's still, given Sri Lankan standards for freestyle rap, you're well ahead of most of the game. Uh, <laughs> I could find something to write with Goba. I didn't think of Lava, so. You did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That's something I find really interesting. Where, um, this one time while performing, um, we had these rappers on, I won't mention who it was. But they were like so surprised that we were rapping without uh, vocals in the background, that we had clean instrumentals because it seems that these days rappers will even rap over their own voices which to me it seems a bit strange because I thought the whole idea of it was you have a beat going and you need to fill that space yeah. um, and strangely uh, when they cut off the beat and just kind of wrapped their pre-written bars they would call that freestyle so I feel like the basic understanding of rap may be lost somewhere yeah freestyle is obviously uh, rhyming at that instance it can be rhyming about a situation, rhyming about you know, maybe anything that's around your surroundings. Uh, it can be maybe a topic that a person who heads a cipher would pass on to uh, pass on to you. So I mean freestyling is, is actually a point where a rapper is, is actually at his maturity where he's written a lot of rhymes and he got to be very uh, very uh, spontaneous, you've got to be very creative, you've got to be able to uh, f foresee the rhymings, the alterations, the metaphor, all of mm -hmm. that uh, way ahead yeah. before you rap. So your, your mind's got to be working, so your mind's got to be seasoned mm -hmm. uh, to do that. So uh, I think uh, not a lot of rappers s still know the basics of hip hop music. So, it's still a it's 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 a, it's a large ocean of, of knowledge that needs to be absorbed into. So I think uh, you need to gradually grow with the music, the genre, the culture, and go, yeah. go work. Something else I want to talk about is like in the studio. What is it that you do? Like you're not just a studio rapper, right? You also produce and you do. Yeah. Much so more. moving, moving up. Actually, uh, I just dropped my ball. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, Iman, actually, I've uh, moved from uh, just being a rapper. Even even during the the early two thousands, 
during my time with Hill Noise when I was writing for Iraj's first album uh, on songs. I also uh, contributed in terms of uh, compositions for melodies and things, and, like ideas and stuff like that. So in, in my 2005 album, Asian Avenue, uh, most of the songs were composed by me. So uh, I do not categorize myself only as a, as a rap musician. Uh, I'm more like a composer, a, a producer, uh, so I, I, I explore different genres of music. It's not just rap music that I listen to. I, I listen to jazz, I listen to world music, I listen to Carnatic music. Uh, I listen to all sorts of music. Uh, that will inspire me, that will probably uh, make me uh, get ideas from different artists, different musicians. Uh, so my music would probably have certain elements of it. Mm. Uh, it wouldn't be very mass or commercially appealing. But for me, music is something that you do out of passion. Mm. And, uh, and there has to be a lot of creative excellence in what you do. Uh, your topic's got to be challenging or have some sort of impact in terms of social values. Uh, and also, I believe in, in uh, building a better future for the young people through music. So. Mm. So yeah, that's that's basically how my music journey has been. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've been writing a lot of uh, stuff recently. Even my previous release, Udnal Modi, was was a bit of a electronic dance music, mm -hmm. kum rap sort yeah. of a song, uh, featuring a South Indian singer, which was also uh, produced by uh, Pro from from uh, Amans, uh, who actually supported that project. So I need to give them all the credits for that. Uh, so uh, this particular project was uh, purely on youth empowerment. It's about you know doing things that you can do if you put your mind into it. Uh, a very positive sort of messages. Uh, and even in the future, what I'm trying to do is I'm, through the Tamil music industry, I am setting up like uh, writers. We're trying to form an association where we have writers, we have musicians, we have sessionists, uh, we have music producers, all of them forming a collective uh, called Ilangay Tamil Musicians Association where we're trying to set uh, standards in terms of uh, local independent music, original music, uh, protecting artists, making sure that artists get uh, airplay on media, on electronic media, on mainstream media, giving them uh, opportunities, harnessing them, nurturing them, uh, giving them the know-how of what the industry is, how you monetize your content, uh, things like that. As an association, we're trying to pass it on to to, to next uh, generation of musicians. So the culture, uh, the artist, the industry will be protected. And I think it's about time that we, as as musicians, started this and, and implement it mm. uh, on a national level. So we're speaking to people in high authorities, uh, in, in government levels, where we're trying to secure this organization or this association uh, under the purview of, of the ministry. Well, so, so that there would be uh, direct involvement with, uh, with the government and how uh, it could actually strengthen and protect our musicians. That sounds like a yeah. lot of work. Yeah. That's uh, apart from that, uh, you know, um, I'm also looking at uh, uh, getting involved. Uh, we're, we're, seeing, we're seeing a lot of new Tamil movies being produced in Sri Lanka, uh, full-length films, not short films, full-length films uh, that are going to be uh, scheduled in cinema. So we're trying to uh, work together with other Tamil artists and build this industry in a more uh, vibrant way. Because we, we've got we've got a geographical extension. We have the north and east that has opened up. Uh, people, we see a lot of talent out there. We just need to. Uh, Connect the dots. Mm. Just connect the dots, and uh, I think it'll it'll happen with time. Tanu tanu ne, tadu padi geli dili nanda ne, dori yodu padi yadu tal, puri kolle, ala gudu sula bame. Pisan karuye gachi, unne yeni puru podu tadu kadi, mudi vidam varu varu vadi tegi, ali gudu kali vidam vadi yeri. So your track Unnal Mudiyam or You Can is a motivational song, and to me it's quite a contrast from a lot of the messages that we get from rap music from Sri Lanka it seems that there's a certain expectation that if you're writing rap or if you're a rapper you need to dress a certain way you need to you know talk about swagger and you need to like be aggressive almost like um, and it's not very often that you come across 
rap songs with really positive messages that uh, doesn't fall into all of uh, those yeah. stereotypes well imad uh, actually uh, it's a good question because uh, songs like unar mudi you know that were commercially success- successful i mean uh, it has decent amount of views on youtube uh, but apart from that uh, what what i noticed is if you put absolute uh, bs on 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 social media or or on on media it probably gets more mileage these days but uh, what i uh, feel is that i'm much sure as a musician uh, i mean you you got to have swag you got to have you got to have uh, an, an identity you got to have your clothing and all that because i mean hip hop culture is, is still about you know uh, the baseball hats the the, the baggy t-shirts or I mean, I mean, even the baggy T-shirts and the baggy jeans have moved into like skinny jeans right now. I mean, it it evolves, right? I mean, in new school rappers and all that, they have a different uh, style of wearing. Uh, but I mean, identity is one uh, that is that is important. But uh, I would say messages is something that's important because rap music was created to spread messages to 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 actually express what they felt. Uh, so they used rhythm and poetry to express it. Uh, so my music will uh, will have a mix. It will also have certain songs will have commercial uh, value to it. But most of my music would uh, have a social value. The song J story that really made me aware that um, there was a rapper called Krishan and that he could rap in Tamil, and that song. was one that i feel like it was really necessary at that time it was it gave voice to um, a message that people needed to hear and uh, that type of social commentary that type of socially conscious uh, rap is really interesting or in any genre um, do you intend to do more of that style of music incorporate more messages like that about taxi jetan story was was an eye opener for even for us as a band Early 2000s, because it it was during the, the conflict year time period. Uh, we wanted to connect uh, through music, so we had we had we had a Sindhis, we had we had two Tamil rappers, we had a Muslim, uh, all working on one song, and, and, and it, it, actually, it actually gave us a very good reach uh, in terms of uh, popularity. Uh, Ever since that, I, I even on Asian Avenue there are songs about there is songs about drug abuse. There there are songs about you know, youth empowerment. Uh, so uh, my next few projects, uh, I have one on human trafficking, and the other one is uh, the the hardships uh, people, Tamil people go through in 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 uh, young country tea plantations and things like that. You know, there is a la- lack of education. Uh, fathers who have uh, alcoholic problems um, so some others who are the only uh, income earners for for families so maybe you know uplifting giving them some sort of inspiration giving them some sort of upliftment through music is what i i plan to do uh, so the whole human trafficking thing is about you know people uh, looking for a greener uh, you know brighter future uh, calling them other sort of things and then taking on a boat trip that they don't even know where where they're heading to so so things like that it'll be like a short movie sort of a concept um, so those are things that I've planned for 2016 apart from that I've got commercial songs as well because I've signed up with uh, an Indian label called Devo uh, where we will be distributing my content uh, in the South Indian platform uh, might as well be might as well distribute it to other countries through Devo so we we've, we've signed a Uh, a, a global agreement on on distribution. Uh, so that's that's something that I've started working on uh, in 2016. It's going to take a lot of time because uh, I I I do a nine to five as well. So I work in the nights. Uh, it's not easy, but it's not easy. <laughs> but I hope uh, uh, a lot of things would uh, unfold. Uh, yeah. Let me see that. you find rappers you know spitting bars over beats and stuff like that and recently i got to see you perform when you came for kacha kacha and you blew the roof of that thing like it was really quite ecstatic i remember someone even came up and started break dancing <laughs> while 
you're doing your thing. And um, so, if you could fill us in on where we can find, you know, all these rappers and are there going to be more Tamil rappers at the next Kacha Kacha? Oh, uh, yes, it was, a, it was a great experience uh, at the castle, uh, Galambo. Uh, but yeah, uh, we have something that's happening in uh, Trinko on the 14th of, uh, 13th of February, uh, Trinko Beach, where we'll have a lot of uh, Tamil independent musicians jamming. We'll have about six, five to six rap acts uh, performing there as well. Uh, so that's one act we've uh, planned so far. Apart from that, there'll be a lot of uh, lot of these little uh, concerts that that will be planned in, in Colombo, Canby, Riverdale, Trinco, Jaffna. Uh, likewise, like very small um, uh, participation dates, but there'll be something that we were looking at uh, promoting the rap culture. Apart from that, Kacha Kacha, we will have Tamil Rap United, uh, which is a, a collective formed by uh, a guy called BK and myself, where we produce for rappers. Uh, so we have about uh, four rappers who have been a part of the collective so far. So uh, we will obviously uh, give them a platform to Kacha Kacha on the next session. So you can look forward to that. Awesome. Syringes. Arrangers. Ranger. So that's all the time we have for rappers unwrapping this time around. Stay tuned because we're going to have way more rappers on this show, freestyling, and it's not just going to be fluids. Catch you next time.